Do you want what's in there? Are you sure? Okay, let's get one. Now, she might eat one, or she might not. Hold on, take two hands here. Okay, I'll put, there's three kinds, so I'll put one of each. Okay, she's got one of each. And she goes, is that all? Is that all I get? Well, <laughs> how about that? She says, thanks a lot for the donation of many milk bones. Okay, we'll go over to the tool and cutter grinder here. Okay, back here at my favorite machine, the tool and cutter grinder. And uh, with the generous donations, I was able to buy this Shores brand new 6 inch 35 thousandths thickness, pretty thin. And I've got it spaced over to give a little bit of room. And I got it running within about two thousandths, which is good enough. And um, to use carbide shapes, you can get it. Hey, you, your bones are out there. I see them. I bet we'll get them. <laughs> now, this carbide here, you can, you can break it off. But it's really a lot nicer to be able to uh, saw it off. You see this carbide blank here. Little different thicknesses. Like a piece like this, um, you can actually stand it up. And I suppose that's about a sixteenth thick. So you can make a sixteenth uh, inch thick uh, grooving tool, shallow parting tool, and all kinds of uh, tools. And when I first was getting into this in the 1970s, there was a lot more of this going on than now, you know, with the availability of carbide inserts in all types, uh, shapes and sizes, but at a price. And they might not always be available when you need them. And some carbide inserts don't work as well as you might think. Like I can point out um, carbide Acme threading inserts are made for machines that run really quickly and uh, they don't work quite so well on most materials, unless it's a very, very tough material on uh, conventional lathes. And uh, better off using some high-speed steel. And uh, on tough threads and stuff, you can step it out. It's not like you have to cut the full profile. I'm going to get into that quite a bit. It'll make some uh, tools for cutting acne threads. So one of the things I want to try with this wheel is uh, here's some carbide here. It was from a local um, can company. Crown Cork and Seal. And uh, this was in the production line, these pieces like this. Quite substantial. Now, this is a wear type carbide, but I, I haven't tried uh, machining metal with it. And I'm not sure exactly what grade it is. But anyway, I want to see if that wheel will, like this part here has got a chip in it. I'd like to see if it'll uh, saw that off without destroying itself. <laughs> so I got the wheel in there and I, I cut off uh, an end mill 
I don't even know what that meant. That carbide end, no, that was broken on the end. So this is working. And um, we'll give a shot at uh, doing a pretty heavy cut through there. I've been wanting to do it, but the, the wheel I had was on its last legs. And we'll put this wheel to the test. <laughs> Okay, I'll get it set up and do that a little bit. I think Chloe wants another bone. No, oh, she does. Okay, back here. And the setup is a 1942 Cincinnati number two tool and cutter grinder with a considerable amount of tooling for an old machine like this. And uh, I got here the uh, all tool Rotodex with a um, Sterrett Combo V block. And I got a piece of carbide in here that's V shaped that just fits right in the block. Otherwise, I'd use a vise. And I'm going to saw off this broken end. Okay? So I'll get that set up, and I'm going to feed this by, uh, now, this old machine here does not have the knobs that are back there up front that the newer ones do. So one of the things I have to do, if I can disconnect here, this kind of a planetary gear drive. Well, I have to put this knob here and I can move this anywhere. And I can operate the table back and forth here. See? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and back that off is I'm going to engage this and then put pressure on it with these gears while at the same time pushing forward here with my other hand to affect an even feed on that thick carbide. And I'll be watching this uh, version, a Swiss version of a Travodile that uh, travels with the movement here. There's like no moving parts. Works great for a grinder. Get that pencil out of there. One of my things are kind of hung up. <laughs> okay, I'll get the uh, good position here and start cutting. Alrighty, you got that wheel running at about 4500 RPM. It's marked 4300. So, we're in the good ballpark there, I'm not too worried about that. That uh, piece of V-shaped uh, carbide in a Sterrett combo V-block mounted in a 5C collet, mounted in an all-tool rotodex. So I'm going to set you right here, I'm going to start feeding that in and see if it counts. Carefully. Okay. Get myself in a good spot. I think that's what's up here. I think you can see it all right. It's kind of hard to light that up. Give it a try. Here we go. I'm going to start feeding it in. I've got a, a, a video, I've got a travel guy I'm watching here, and I'm going to just uh, kind of watch it and keep it off. I don't know if some people are happy doing it, because they're going to find out that's the bone thing. Oh, I forgot, I got to turn the bathroom on. Right. I didn't smell the car by the airport. Okay, here we go.
seems to be doing okay. Something useless, 
But I'd like to try like actually this piece here that I sawed off that was chipped. I can take and grind that and uh, see how it cuts metal, the properties of this stuff. Kind of fix stuff around. That's the fun of uh, this. So I thought you would enjoy that. The saw seems to have worked pretty good. I'll just go up the back here. Yeah. All right. So this uh, direction I'm heading, along with a few others, is this uh, tool making. And uh, I think it's worthwhile and worth knowing. It was uh, quite a bit more common back in the 70s. And uh, back then, uh, a lot of the older guys I worked for uh, and with uh, had been through the depression and they were at times not wanting to uh, give up all their uh, techniques, you know, because during the depression, uh, keeping a job depended on what you knew sometimes, uh, skills, so. Some of this is from long ago. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna load this video and uh, I got more wheels coming on this. I got five wheels total, and that'll be a nice set for creating tools. And I got a lot of tools to create, both lathe cutters, threading tools, stuff like that, and wheel type cutters too. That'll be fun. Okay, have a good day.